More small businesses are now eligible for the Pandemic-Related Small Business Stabilization Grant Program. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, more small businesses are now eligible for the pandemic-related Small Business Stabilization Grant Program, according to the Nebraska Department of Economic Development. Due to receiving fewer applications than projected during the first round, DED estimates it can award up to 14,000 more grants of $12,000 apiece and will now allow businesses with 1 to 75 employees to apply. Scottsbluff Economic Development Director Star Leal tells KNB News it's great news for the sole proprietors or very small businesses she's been hearing from. If you spend it on operations and um, employment wages for your employees, then um, obviously it's forgiven. So um, I just encourage everyone to apply if uh, their, their businesses are needing some money through this COVID uh, pandemic. The first come, first served grants are available to businesses that have not previously applied, and the new criteria will be applied to those who already have. However, new applications must be submitted by this Friday at 3 p.m. Well, a 61-year-old Scottsdale man is facing charges of second-degree assault and use of a deadly weapon to commit a felony. William Murphy was arrested on Saturday afternoon after allegedly taking a piece of lumber and using it to strike a man outside a residence in Terrytown. When officers made contact with Murphy, he told officers the man had sprayed water on him, and in turn, he hit him with the wood. He was arraigned on the Class 2 and Class 2A felony charges yesterday in Scottsbluff County Court and is scheduled to be back in court on Thursday for his preliminary hearing. Bond has been set at $25,000 at 10%. And a 44-year-old Gehring woman who had been accused of abusing power of attorney of her elderly grandmother's financials and spending tens of thousands of dollars on purchases not related to essential care of needs has struck a plea deal to avoid going to trial. Melody Marsh had been charged with a Class 3A felony charge of abuse of a vulnerable adult, but earlier this month in district court pleaded no contest to an amended charge of theft by unlawful taking less than $1,500. She'll be back in court on September 4th for sentencing on the Class 1 misdemeanor. Well, straight ahead, Bill Boyer in with your Tuesday evening forecast. I love that right after this on KNEB.TV News. Local lending. We're here for you from start to finish. Keeping money in our economy. Supporting local jobs. Giving back to our community. Investing in entrepreneurship. Making our quiet towns a destination. At Platte Valley Bank, we support local because we are local. Take your career to the next level with Chadron State College's online Master of Business Administration program, taught by experienced professors who care about your success. The accredited, fully online MBA program is backed by CSE's more than 100 years of education leadership. Flexible, eight-week courses let you work at your own pace, wherever you are, and CSE's experienced professors are committed to your success. Chadron State College. Real people. Real results. Join us today at csc.edu. This is KNEB.TV Weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Going to be dealing with a few clouds across the area tonight. Some scattered thunderstorms are out in the horizon as well, especially late tonight. We could see some this evening, don't get me wrong, and we will probably see a few this evening, but late tonight into the early morning hours tomorrow, that looks like 
our best chance of getting some moisture around here and it looks like a decent chance of getting some decent rain. It should end tomorrow morning though and then we're going to turn hot again by Friday but don't expect uh, there to be a, a lull. Hopefully we'll get some of those th thunderstorms across the area tonight as we could certainly use the moisture. 87 yesterday didn't quite get to 90 that broke our streak of above normal days yesterday. We did end up with three hundredths of an inch of moisture. That's all we could squeeze out of that system yesterday, and we certainly could have used some more than that. Look at this refreshing map right now. These are current temperatures here at 530, uh, mostly in the 70s across the region. Very nice out here. Uh, no major issues. Uh, 70s all across the map here, uh, mid and upper 70s. Very nice evening out here tonight. We have winds out of the east southeast 10 to 20 miles an hour, and uh, otherwise it's pretty quiet. We do have a few showers starting to form out there. Severe weather threat off to our east and off to our south for today. For tomorrow, it stays in that same general vicinity down here, continues over there. And then on Thursday, trying to throw in a marginal risk of some severe storms. I don't see much in the way of thunderstorm activity coming uh, for Thursday right now. Let's take a look at Futurecast. Got a few showers out there trying to form later tonight. They will form through the evening hours. Now watch what happens by early tomorrow morning. That rain really starts to fill in. We could be dealing with a decent shot of rain during the day tomorrow in the morning. Uh, then the skies will clear out and will turn sunny. Low 50s, mid 50s tonight for lows. Very comfortable out there. So tomorrow, notice what happens. Here's 5 a.m. Through the next couple hours by 8 or 9 o'clock, it ends and it turns sunny. Takes all the clouds with it, the rain with it as well. It's going to be a touch warmer tomorrow. Still pretty nice, though and uh, below normal again for high temperatures tomorrow. We're looking at uh, temps that are going to be primarily in the upper 70s to low to mid 80s out there for most of us. A couple of areas sneaking into the upper 80s, but very comfortable again tomorrow. And we are looking at a decent shot of rain. Futurecast point, uh, painting more of the rain in the northern panhandle. This, I'm not going to lie, has been bouncing around all day. We've had some bullseyeing the southern, some the northern, some the central panhandle. As of right now, just expect a, a decent shot of getting some rain. What are we looking at? Well, some of these areas could pick up over an inch of moisture. That's not out of the question, and some of us may only get a few hundreds. Where this bullseye sets up, if it's in the Shadron Alliance area, is it further south? Is it uh, even further south yet? Right now, again, favoring the northern panhandle. And these are going to be with showers coming through overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So scattered storms, especially late tonight. Lows in the upper 50s. You might get through most of your evening without too much in the way of shower activity. Thunderstorms develop, uh, continue in the early morning hours, then move out, and then we're really going to turn sunny. Very pleasant. 83 out there tomorrow for a high. I told you it's going to warm up really starting tomorrow, but uh, or fr Thursday rather, but especially into Friday and Saturday. Both of those two days right now, we're forecasting highs above 100. Looks like uh, Monday brings our next chance of rain to the region late Monday with about a 40% chance of getting some thunderstorms. Temperatures cooling back into the upper 80s for Monday and Tuesday. We might see a return to some monsoon moisture next week. Uh, that's been a little late in getting here, but hopefully we can get some moisture out of this storm system tonight into early tomorrow morning. At 21st Century Equipment, we're proud to introduce the new Build Your Own Tool. Build the John Deere you've been wanting and see how affordable it really is. Visit 21stCenturyEquipment.net to build your own compact utility tractor, mower, or gator. It's easy to add implements, attachments, and view financing options. Build the exact tractor for your needs at a price you can afford, all from the comfort and safety of home, with a new Build Your Own Tool at 21stCenturyEquipment.net. As farmers make plans to return to their fields for spring planting, we urge farmers to be alert to the dangers of working near overhead power lines. Electricity is one of the most overlooked, yet deadly hazards of working on a farm. Beware of increased height when loading and transporting equipment on trailers. Avoid raising the arms of planters or cultivators or raising truck beds near power lines. So let's take extra caution this spring planting season. This message brought to you by Roosevelt Public Power District, your touchstone energy partner, the power of human connections. At TC and Moore in Scotts Bluff, we have toys and puzzles for your children, or they make a great gift. TC and Moore has craft activities, pretend play toys, and dozens of puzzles and games for all ages. We also have the largest supply of Melissa and Doug toys, and we still carry all of your classroom essentials. Remember to like TC and Moore on Facebook. 
TZN Moore, 1621 Broadway, beautiful downtown Scotts Bluff. Welcome back. Unified Command has announced a new community exposure site tied to the COVID-19 pandemic. The 4th of July Camp Clark Rodeo in Bridgeport is being scrutinized because a previous positive case is not able to identify all close contacts from the event and social distancing was not practiced. Local health officials say if you attended this event, monitor for symptoms and get tested if you begin experiencing any symptoms. Unified Command on Monday evening also confirming an additional 12 more cases of COVID-19 in the Panhandle since their Friday report. Nine in Scottsbluff County, two in Kimball County, and one new case in Cheyenne County. 16 new recoveries as well, including 11 in Scottsbluff County, four in Morrill County, and one in Sheridan County. Now through Monday evening, the Panhandle has seen 359 total cases, 283 recoveries, five deaths, leaving 71 active cases. Those include 60 in Scottsbluff County, three each in Kimball and Morrill counties, two each in Sheridan and Cheyenne counties, and one active case in Box Butte County. Well, troopers with the Nebraska State Patrol have arrested a Maryland man and seized 42 pounds of marijuana during a traffic stop on I-80. On Sunday evening, a trooper observed a Hyundai speeding at mile marker 57 near Sydney. During the traffic stop, the trooper became suspicious of criminal activity. A search of the vehicle revealed 42 pounds of marijuana concealed in trash bags in the trunk. The driver, 29-year-old Ryan Chun, was arrested for possession of marijuana more than one pound and was booked into the Cheyenne County Detention Center. And WNCC President Dr. Carmen Simone was recently appointed by the American Association of Community Colleges to serve on their Commission on Small and Rural Colleges for the 2020 through 2023 term. The association is the primary advocacy organization for the nation's community colleges, representing nearly 1,200 two-year associate degree granting institutions. The Commission on Small and Rural Colleges offers the AACC advice and counsel on trends and issues impacting small colleges and highlights innovative practices in small and rural colleges that can serve as models for other institutions. Simone's first meeting with the Commission is scheduled for mid-November in Arlington, Virginia. Well, straight ahead, Shabella Guzman will be in with a check-in on Ag News. She'll have that right after this on KNEB.TV News. Yeah, I like to snag a couple crinkle fries before I pass it to the back. It's the dad tax, kiddos, and everyone's got to pay. This chair is way too big. It's perfect for us. This one's tiny. That's cause it's mine. Hey, this chair is just right. This bed is way too hard. It's perfect for me. This bed is way too soft. Ah, uh, just what I needed. This bed is just right. So come on over to Leaf Heads. Home buying is filled with decisions. Neighborhood, floor plan, fenced yard, Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. Home buying is filled with decisions. Square feet, fixer upper, room to grow. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. The Wyoming Wheat Variety Trial Tour was held June 26th. The tour included four farms where the University of Wyoming had plots and were working in conjunction with farmers. One of the farms was the Matson Farm where there was dry land variety trials. Dr. Carrie Eberly, University of Wyoming Agronomy and Cropping System Specialist, discusses a dryland variety warhorse at Matson Farms. It's one of the solid stems that has done pretty well in our region. Uh, sawflies are one of the big pests that our wheat farmers um, struggle with. And so 
Warhorse is kind of our standard for solid stem. And then this year, I think we have six other solid stems that we're evaluating. So by having them in these small plot trials, we'll be able to directly compare how they yield and perform relative to that variety that has done well for us over the last few years. The University of Wyoming has been working with Matson Farms for more than 25 years. Albert Krantz, assistant vice president with Matson Farms, says they raise and sell certified seed, so it works well for them and the university. He talks about how the varieties come and go in the trials. Well, the, some of the older varieties, the buckskin and pronghorn, were good in their day, and, and uh, they're gone. New varieties are three to five years, and then they're gone. There's something else better and coming out. For dry land, my SY Monument's been the best best producer right now, but the height of it and really produces good, and it's got a good disease package for rust. So, so the organic guys really like it because they, they nothing really they can spray for rust and it's it holds up really good. So, The wheat tour visited four farms total around Egbert, Elburn, and LaGrange, Wyoming, looking at dry land and irrigated wheat. With the Rural Radio Network, I'm Chabella Guzman. Small business, you're the engine that makes our communities thrive. That's why we're with you, providing more for you, so you can focus on what matters most. Small business, you're the engine that makes our communities thrive. That's why we're with you, providing more for you, so you can earn more, save more, and do more. Santa's been busy making his list, but the elves at Viero are helping him check it twice with big Christmas and July savings on iPhones like a free SE or up to $700 off 11 series with a new line of service and eligible trade. Need two lines? Buy one, get one for you and the kids. Hurry in before these deals are gone. Visit a local Viero store or Viero.com for more details. Viero Wireless, keeping you connected. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. At Elite Physical Therapy, we provide preventative and rehabilitative treatments that maximize function and promote well-being for patients of all ages. With two locations in Scotts Bluff and Gearing, we offer the convenience of you choosing your location with the same great services no matter where you go. Stop into one of our locations today in Scotts Bluff at 214 West 27th Street or in Gearing at 10th and M Street and see what Elite Physical Therapy can do for you. Treatment you need and care you deserve.
At Platte Valley Bank, we want you to plan for tomorrow Will you enjoy today. With our personalized trust and estate planning services, our trust services can help you do just that. When it comes to estate planning, you should seek professional help. And when you do, you should have confidence in the financial institution you choose to handle your trust. At Platte Valley Bank, we pride ourselves in keeping our trust operations local and serving our friends and neighbors. We offer a highly personalized, full line of personal trust and estate planning. Give us a call today and see how our trust services can help you. And finally tonight, the new exhibit for the Brother Bears at the Riverside Discovery Center is one step closer to completion. Yesterday, the water tank was placed atop the water tower in the home of the old zebra exhibit. So it's uh, about three quarters of the way done. We still have some platforms and some other structures to build uh, in there. And then um, we're continuing to put up fencing around the exhibit, um, working on dig barriers and uh, landscaping and other items to get everything ready for the bears to move into their new home that you see here. Director Anthony Mason expects the bears, Smokey and Bandit, will make the big move sometime in August. He says they are still fundraising for this $600,000 project. We're asking the public to help um, donate any amounts they can uh, to help with uh, building this new incredible habitat uh, for the bears and incredible uh, attraction for our community. This is going to be a phenomenal resource uh, for members of the community, both for those who use it, uh, but also as uh, you know, an attraction to bring in people from Wyoming, Colorado, um, anywhere outside of Scotts Bluff County. Mason says the zoo remains open to the public, including the ever popular splash pad during these summer months and are offering extended hours on Friday and Saturday where the zoo is open until 6 p.m. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there and we'll see you here next time.